What's going on YouTube? Johnny with DR Reptiles here. Well, just watched the video. Andrew, DEA Exotics, yeah, you did win the race. Congratulations, man. I think you uh, called my girl and told her not to lay yet, huh? I see how it is. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at her right off the bat. She is right here. It's a conspiracy. That's all I got to say. Conspiracy. No, she's just being a little bit peculiar. That's all right. It's all fun. Breeding's all fun. So, you know, you never can tell when they're going to lay eggs anywhere from, you know, a certain day to a certain day. This girl here, she just shed. So I got to clean her tub out. Let's do some checking here. If you remember, last Sunday during the live stream, I put my Mojave male that just got up to the breeding size and then went off food for a couple weeks. I popped him and he was popping sperm plugs. So what did I do? I stuck him in with my vanilla. Throughout the week, he's been locked up off and on all week. I guess he's uh, liking the, getting the hang of things. So let's check it out right now and see what he's, what he's up to. Because if he's not up to anything, I'm taking him out. He's had a week to get busy. So let's, let's look at him here. He is... Tails are still close. He's still flirting. He don't want to be taken out, I guess. Tails are still pretty much side by side. Oh, I swear. But, hey, it's all good. Maybe he'll uh, do the job and she'll produce me some eggs. And guess what? That whole clutch will be for sale. But look what else I found here. Remember I was telling you Bonnie, my female albino, was in shed? Well, guess what? Somebody just changed their clothes. Let's take a look at her. See how she looks now. <gasps> There's my party girl. Look at that. Look at that pretty girl. I'm going to go ahead and get her out. I'm going to set the phone down here a minute. Come here, sweetie. All right, I'm back. I want to tell you something. I want to tell you something about this little girl. You see how big she is, right? Okay. So I was holding her, cleaning out her t t uh, tank or something one day, and no, I set her down here just for a minute to kind of rearrange her stuff a little bit. So what did she do? She actually went and climbed up through here and her big body actually fit through this little spot here. I, was, I thought she's going to get stuck, but she didn't. Let's take a look at her. I haven't had her out in a while. Look at that high contrast albino. Isn't she gorgeous? She's being a picky eater. She's that thousand mark, and she just don't want to eat at all. You're being picky, aren't you, sweetie? But let's go ahead and weigh her, see what she weighs. See if I can do this one-handed. Hopefully don't, she, she don't move too fast because I got the phone sitting on her. 
need to go over here where it's a little bit more light. See if I can get her to cooperate so I can just set her on the scale. Probably not. She's getting too big for that. All right, let's see what we can do here. Well, sitting like that's not going to work. All right, let's see here. Oh. Well, I thought we was going to get it to work for there for a minute. So let's uh let's go out here for a minute. I got me a tub out here I can use. Hopefully everybody had a good week. My day kind of sucked, but hey, it's Friday, it's the weekend now, so it's all good. All right, let's try this again. Sorry about all the ca bad camera angles here, but got to do what I got to do. All right, I'm going to flip the camera around here so you can see the scale. There we go. And she is 1,200 grams. So even though she's been on a food strike for the past several months, she has not lost any weight. That's a good thing. She, oh, she ate, oh, I'd say a month ago, a month and a half maybe now. But she hasn't ate since then. But tomorrow's feed day. I'm going to try to feed her again, see what she does. I think she's just wanting to breed, but I don't want to breed her at, 1200 grams so she'd probably do fine but i don't have the i don't think the male's up to size yet so let's take a look because i might go ahead and do it i know my my newer albino is up to size but i want to breed this guy to her high contrast to high contrast so hopefully she'll create high contrast babies so, let's see what he weighs. Nope, he's got some ways to go. He's only at 460. So that's not going to happen. Well, let's try the uh, pied male. I know he's bigger. See what uh, that looks like. Because I could go for some double heads. Oh, I don't think he's going to be big enough either. But we'll see. Um, 514. He might be ready in a couple weeks. That would give me a head start. Because I know I don't want to throw a normal. I don't want to throw my spinner to her. I don't want to throw buck to her. Let's check the banana. Because guess what? The banana? He's got new clothes on too. Look at that. Isn't he gorgeous? Isn't he just absolutely gorgeous? There's nothing wrong with him. Look at that purple. Let me know if you guys can see that purple that, that's coming in. He just... He's amazing. I've never seen a banana like this before. I've never seen a banana before until I got I hatched one in life, that is. All right, let's see what it is. 566. So what do you guys think? I'm trying to be picky on what I put to my albino because... I don't want to, I don't want to, uh, make more projects than I, I need. Uh, I'd like to stick to albino to albino or pie to albino. Um, next year I might create some hits. Well, I have two head albinos, so... That there in itself will create the heads. 
Um, yeah, I don't know. If I can get that albino, my smaller male albino up to size, I might try to go ahead and breed him to Bonnie. Because she's, she's acting kind of funny. She, I haven't seen her wrap the bowl at all, but I know she's on a food strike, so that might be it. Who knows? But, you know, who knows? Um, let's go ahead in here and take a look at all, at the, uh, at the, um, giveaway snake. See what he's up to. He's hiding. He don't want to be seen today. Too bad. You got fans that want to see you, buddy. So we need to get that 300 subscribers, guys. So I can get this. So I can have one lucky guy to, or gal. Sorry. Guy or gal. One lucky subscriber will get that beautiful snake. Let's see what old John Wayne Gacy is up to. Let me open this window. Get a little bit brighter in here. Ah, oh, let there be light. Here's Mr. John Wayne Gacy himself. He kind of... No, he's not going in the shed. Um, let's look at Mr. Hisser here. I don't have a name for him yet. I just opened it up and he hissed at me. Go figure. Look at him. Want to hear him hiss? Can you hear that? Yep. He's going to be a hisser. No, don't. You're going to spill your water, bud. Let's go ahead and take a look at my... What are you doing wrapped around the water bowl? You're not a female, and it's not breeding season for you. I guess he needs to cool himself off. Oh, calm down. You're fine. I just changed his tub yesterday. See what this other guy's up to. He's back at the back. But that's just a little update. Congratulations, Andrew at DEA Exotics. You won this race, but I win the championship. <laughs> yeah. I'll have more. Well, I may have more clutches than you. I don't know. I don't know how many ball pythons you got. But I will uh, see everybody later. But remember, 300 subscribers. The giveaway snake. I just showed you. He keeps telling me he's ready for a new home. He's like, get him up to 300, Donnie. Get him up to 300. Keep telling him, I'm trying. I'm trying. So help me out there, guys. Let's get up to 300 subscribers and make that guy happy. Let's give him a good home. Um, he is 440 grams. He did eat for me last week. So that's a good thing. Ate one day after I got him, so he's a good eater. Um... Let's uh, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, hit that notification bell right there so you know when I do my daily uploads. And if you wonder what happened to my finger, I got cut it at work. That is the same type of happen, so. Um, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. If you have any questions or comments, comment down below. If you have a question or comment that you want to tell me privately, go over to Instagram, look, at, look up DER Reptiles, hit that follow button, send me a message, I'll answer you. Or you can send me an email at DERreptiles at gmail.com. I will answer you back. But until tomorrow, see you later.